Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Duckman here at the CME Group with Morning Market Stir for Friday, September the 8th. Stocks were slow but steady yesterday, which is nice after the Tuesday, tur Tuesday turmoil. We had the S&P unchanged yesterday, about an eight point range from high to low. The Dow was down 23, but that's unchanged in percentage terms. The NASDAQ was positive, leading the way up one quarter percent. The VIX going nowhere, 1150, so back inside that 10 to 12 channel we talked about. The mover of the session was gold, up to 1350 there, up $11. Crude oil was down 10 cents, but we did have a lower high than Wednesday when we peaked at 4940, still below that $50 mark. So where do we stand here on this Friday morning to start the session? Well, right now we've got the stock futures lower. Uh, I've got the E-mini S&P down six, the NASDAQ down 11, and the Dow down 60. We've got some work to do to make up for the losses that we saw at the beginning of the week here. So coming in today, the Dow was 200 short of last week's close. The S&P was down 12 from last week's finish, uh, and the NASDAQ down 24. Not insurmountable, but We've got a long day ahead of us. Uh, let's put it in perspective. The NDX made all-time forever highs just last Friday, so a little bit of unwind there. The action we're seeing today is in the dollar. New lows there, putting the euro currency at uh, three-year highs, or near three-year highs anyways, up near the 121 level. That's boosted gold. Gold got up to 1360 last night. Uh, right now we're up, let me look at the board, 1355, up five, so backing off that just a bit. And to look at crude, crude's at the $49 level, essentially unchanged on the session. So to summarize, as we've got about an hour to go before the cash stock market open, weakness once again, down six in the S&P, down 11 in the NDX 100, and down 60 in the Dow. Alan Nuckman here in Chicago, where it all comes back to commodities.